guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing an online school tips and advice video as a senior in college I have taken plenty of virtual classes especially this summer I took three online classes I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of how online classes work and the best tips and strategies and how to succeed in online classes so I thought I would share my wisdom and knowledge with you guys so the first tip that I have is to get an early start to your morning and have it be relaxing and calm this way you're in a good mindset and you're just ready to be productive the next tip that i have is kind of going off of that and it is to make breakfast and have coffee and have downtime to make sure that you are awake for the day you can just get a leisurely start to the morning which always for me makes me way more productive if i have like a leisurely start to the morning i'm like more calm happier my next one is to get dressed even if you're literally just changing into another pair of sweatpants it always makes me way more productive to actually like physically put on a different outfit for the day just so that it makes you feel more motivated and like you've actually accomplished something already get into a solid routine so that your body gets adjusted you want to be making sure that you're doing these things every single morning so that you are into a routine and if your body is more adjusted to being in a routine you'll be way more productive during these days by being more productive in the morning you have the rest of the day off so that you have like free time downtime to do whatever you want in the afternoon so that is why i suggest being way more productive in the morning pick something to look forward to whether that is a nice coffee or a treat later on in the day it'll give you the motivation to actually get stuff done i'll reward myself with chick-fil-a or with going to get a nice coffee later on or with even like just like getting out of the house and like doing something if you have something to look forward to it'll help you be way more motivated and productive during the day when you actually need to get stuff done to so be organized and get organized before classes start so that would be like writing in a planner organizing things in your room that you'll be needing just so that you have everything laid out in its own spot and you're more organized so that you can be more productive later on especially writing in a planner that really helps me keep track of things in online school because I found that it's very difficult to like keep track of things because you're not physically going to class. You don't have someone reminding you in person all the time. So that's why I like live by my planner, especially for online classes. Invest in cute study materials. That way you'll be way more eager to actually use them if they're cute. It's always like more motivating to use colorful pens and notebooks. You also want to make sure that you're organizing your notes in a way that's easy to refer back to join a group maze for every class this is so so helpful for online classes especially just because if you aren't understanding anything and you can't get in touch with a professor or office hours or something like that you have other students to ask for help and you can also just get homework help that way have a designated workplace this will really help you get into the productive mindset so that when you sit down at this like designated workplace you are already put into the mindset of getting work done and you associate that space automatically with productivity this really really helped me like i can no longer do my homework on my bed because i will totally just slack off so i have to be working at my desk and it has really helped me be way more productive if i'm sitting down at a desk that i associate with schoolwork you want to make sure to take breaks like it's totally okay to take 10 minutes out of studying to like watch tiktok watch youtube videos have a snack call a friend your brain does need a break in between doing like schoolwork for such a long period of time you want to make sure that you're taking breaks drinking water having a snack doing like mindless activities so that your brain can rest for note taking make sure that you are engaged and actually taking notes so that would be writing them down typing them out that way you're focused and actually learning that really helped me out with online lectures especially sometimes they would do lectures like pre-recorded so then i would totally space out so that way if i'm physically writing notes or typing them out i'm actually engaging with the material and learning it a lot better than just like literally listening it and watching the slides do a little bit of schoolwork every day you don't want to overwhelm yourself and do everything in one day because you will literally cry and be so stressed out so i would just really recommend doing a little bit of schoolwork every day so that at the last minute you aren't overly stressed out. Quizlet and Chegg will literally be your best friends and save your life. A lot of like homework assignment answers are on Quizlet and Chegg has the same things too. I always use Chegg and Quizlet when I'm studying. 
in order to be the most productive that you can be, I always turn my phone on Do Not Disturb and put it far away from me so that I can really focus on my schoolwork or whatever I need to get done. If you have your phone next to you, you're more likely to get distracted and mindlessly just pick it up like normal and like check social media and stuff. So I would just recommend putting it on Do Not Disturb, placing it face down, and putting it far away from you. So that way if you want to check your phone, you have to physically get up to check it and you're more likely to not do that and to actually focus on your schoolwork than like get up and getting your phone and checking it. Check your school's website, which would be like Blackboard or Canvas or whatever you use, your school uses for assignments. Check that every single day because assignments are always tentative to change no matter like what is going on. Assignments will change due to like the professor or like other circumstances. So I really recommend checking your website every day. I would invest in noise canceling headphones for Zoom lectures and studying. Especially for Zoom lectures, if you have background noise going on, you can't pay attention and studying is the same thing. If you have noise canceling headphones on, you're way more likely to study and be productive and be focused on what you're listening to rather than having outside distractions. So I would really recommend investing in a pair of noise canceling headphones, especially for online learning. Attend Zoom office hours or tutoring sessions if they are available. I'm not really sure how this is gonna work, but I think there are resources out there like online tutoring or online office hours. So if you need extra help, I would definitely recommend attending those virtual sessions. Get ahead and try not to procrastinate. This is essentially very hard to do since nobody is reminding you about classwork in person. So you really wanna make sure you are staying on top of things way more often than you normally would. And that would be by like writing stuff down in your planner, using an online planner to send you reminders as well, and checking your Blackboard or Canvas or whatever your school website uses for assignments. You, may, you want to make sure that you're staying on top of all of those things. I don't know about you guys, but I can only work in the same position for only so long. So whether that is moving from your desk to your kitchen table or moving from your kitchen table to outside, you just want to make sure you get a change of scenery every once in a while. Especially with us being in the house most of the time and doing online virtual schooling, you want to make sure that you are changing up your scenery so you don't get bored or agitated. So definitely change it up. I would especially recommend like going outside. You could maybe go to a friend's house. Um, I don't really know if you can go to the library or not, but if you can, that's also an option. Keep in contact with family and friends because this is remote learning and it can feel very, very lonely at some times because you aren't getting that physical interaction of actually going to class and being surrounded by other people. So I would definitely recommend keeping in contact with friends and family. So that way you can still get your social interaction in and not feel as lonely and this can also be a great break in studying so that way your brain also is not overwhelmed and it's just like mindless talking do one little self-care thing a day whether that is getting your favorite candy watching your favorite tv show taking a bath whatever it is to you take one thing a day that makes you truly happy and relaxed and do a different one every day or do the same one every day it's completely up to you but I would just really recommend doing one self-care thing a day in order to reduce stress and increase productivity for the following days. And the last thing that I put is to remember you're not alone in struggling with online classes. We are all going through this. I've never had completely all online classes. So this is new for everyone. And also this will not last forever. It's only a temporary thing. Soon we will all be in person again. I don't know when but eventually we all will be in person again and everything will return to normal. This is just for the time being. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help you guys out a little bit, especially with having taken so many online classes during my time in college. I feel like I have a general knowledge and wisdom I can share with you guys on online classes. So let me know if this helped you guys out at all and I will see you guys in my next video.